Hello and welcome to my Final Fantasy XII Let's Play. Uh, where we left off, I was leaving the uh, temple. Um, unfortunately, on my way out, I actually encountered that rare spawn that I was telling you about that summons skeletons pretty much endlessly. Unfortunately, I did not capture that. I just ended up killing him and moving on. Um, so... He does spawn in the area where I had mentioned he spawns. I'm not sure what the trigger is. I'd have to look it up. But in any event, I walked out here and went to save and triggered a cutscene. So luckily there was a uh, auto save. So let's do that now and then we'll continue. My goal is to, at the very minimum, uh, minimum we're going to try to kill the ring worm, which is another hunt. Um, and we're going to do that using an interesting uh, setup here. So we'll see if it works. All right, perfect. Here we go. But I guess it's probably not good. We'll just teleport up there. I mean, you could just run, but since we've been power leveled and stuff now, um, I'm not too worried about levels. Just so we have a, a good save on file now. Um, if it hadn't been for that auto save, we would have been in, uh, kind of in trouble, really. Because let's see, what is the? Is that the newest one? Yeah, it is. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just override everything, so we kind of know that this is where we're at currently. We're not backtracking now. Okay, let's see what happened here. Oh, there's a hunt out here I need to do, too. I just thought of... Hmm. Okay. Hopefully I'll remember to activate that when I come back down. The Feral Retriever, I think. We need to... We need to get that one as well. That guy looks like it's hurt. That's not good. This isn't looking good, that's for sure. Yeah, why do I feel like I'm about to fight something? I feel like it's inevitable I'm about to fight something. Also, I'm almost positive I just remembered something. Let's see if, uh... I think Balthier can Berserk now. Or can cast Berserk. Yes. Let's do... Ah, I don't know how to... How do I normally do this? Um... We'll do this for now, and then if we want to try it, we can. Um... I mean, technically, we could just set this to whoever we want him to berserk. I could just do it to the party leader. Um, so whoever the party leader is, he'll immediately berserk, and then I can just flip to someone else. That might be easier. Uh, but yeah, that again, that can be ridiculously powerful. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, 
Uh oh, this is definitely a boss fight. Ah, our vagrant princess. Swift has your lust for revenge led you to the Sword of Kings. <sighs> you will surrender it to me. Too late and to their sorrow do those who misplace their trust in gods learn their fate. There it is again. Is that Bergen, I think? Fran, I don't like the look of that. This mist. He holds a stone. It controls him as it did Mjern. No, no, the power of manufactured nethersite is the power of man. A weapon forged by his wisdom who would challenge the gods themselves. A fitting blade for a true dynast king. Wraithwall did but pretend the title, a cur begging nethersite scraps from his master's table. Hark! Ivalice hails her true dynast king, Vain Solidor. He shall defy the will of the gods and see the reins of history back in the hands of man. His time is nigh! The new Ivalice holds no place for the name down Masker. The stain of Wraithwall's blood shall be washed clean from history's weave. Uh-oh. I'm sure we'll absolutely destroy this fool. I stole a high potion. Okay, you know what? Just for fun, guess what? I'm actually going to put this on uh, Ball Fear. Let's see if he can land it. Okay, wait a second. I must have messed that up. Let's look at it again. Oh, it would help if I turn it on. Okay, there he is. Now he's berserk. So when he goes, now he's just going to start murdering. Now, I won't be able to control who he fights. Yeah, we're going to destroy this anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, the defense goes up insanely. And he's dead. Nice. Now, I do believe Asuna takes Berserk off. Otherwise, you have to wait it out. He set his very bones about with manufactured nethersite. The Grand Kiltius? Wait, what about Larsa? Gone. Spirited away by Jutschka Brandt. You okay? <sighs> so he was here. Ah, as for our young lordling, he went along. To avoid trouble, you see, but Judge Bergen had other ideas. He flew into a rage, and I was left to fend for myself. Please, Princess, you must permit me to take you back with me to Rosaria. So that you can protect me? I would lay down my life at a single word to be sure, but I harbor no maundering delusions of valiant grandeur. Vane has our war pavilion jumping at shadows. They favor a preemptive strike, but you, you will convince them otherwise. You will see that they do not start this war. This I cannot do. Forgive me, but my errand here is not yet done. I must wield the Sword of Kings, and with it bring an end to the Dusk Shard. <sighs> This stone, do you even know what it is? I can venture a guess. The Draclaw Laboratory in Arcades. The Empire's weapons research begins and ends there. How soon do we leave? At once. As for matters in Rosaria, I bid you luck. <laughs> so you would leave each to fend for his own. Let us hope that you are not disappointed. 
Ah, that's right. Larsa left a message. The differences between our two lands will fade before the shared dream of men. My leave, I take. How do you propose we reach Arcades? Arcadia's borders will be well guarded for fear of Rosarian invasion. We dare not approach by air. And their navy will see that the coast is watched as well. No, we go afoot. We'll cross into Arcadia in the Salica Wood. We can reach the wood any number of ways. But the easiest is to head north from Nalbana. There is a hunter's camp just beyond the Silica Wood. The camp sits within Arcadia's borders, so Imperial patrols there should be sparse. Getting that far should be half the fun. Let's be sure we go prepared. Alright, so this is where the game kind of really opens up now. Um, we have, that is a, that's going to be a long journey. And there's going to be lots and lots of exploration as we go through those areas. Uh, plus, some of those areas open up into areas that you don't technically even have to go into, uh, which we will of course do because there's like good loot, obviously. Um, there's there's hidden espers all over the world. There's all kinds of cool stuff to do. This this that like formation here. This has this plays a role later, uh, way later. But so yeah, there's all kinds of stuff to do. Um, yeah. We'll probably wait until we get to the Hunter's Camp or maybe the Silica Wood before we upgrade equipment because I think with our current power level, we might as well, uh, we might as well do it. Okay, let me talk to Gertie so I can activate a couple of, uh, yeah, Trickster is, uh, still extremely scary to me right now. It's still possible, but with our weapons and armor, it probably would be very painful. I apologize if I flip through this too fast, but I mean the the the, the gist of it is we just want to start the the trickster, and then there's also the feral uh, revere or revy or whatever his name is. Who was the other person? Hims. Yes, feral retri retriever. Yeah, that's what it is. We should be able to absolutely destroy that. I know right where that is, too. So let's... I'd like to see if I can kill the Feral Retriever as well as... Uh, I, de I, I don't know that we'll be able to do it in this episode because there's kind of a long run to the Ringworm. Um, but we'll see. Okay, so we've, we've made a little extra progress. We'll do another quick save just in case we get decimated, which is possible, I guess. And, okay, so the, the Feral Retriever is where? Where is he at? Let me think here for a second. I think he's in the Frozen Brook. Um, let's look at our Clan Primer just real quick. South, okay, found in the south of the rift near the shrine. Hmm. Near the shrine. Oh, it's there, it's right there. That's where it is. So let's, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to warp backwards. Well, not backwards, but. Still shrine. Let's go there and then we'll walk backwards and we should be able to see and kill that. I'm not even going to do any prep. I assume we have way more than enough power. 
Uh, plus Balthair is Berserk, which is both good and bad. Um, Berserk just means, you know, that he hits way harder, but obviously you're not going to get any magic or anything out of him. You can't really control what he attacks or anything, so... We should be fine. It'll eventually wear off. Yeah, I just did. I'm going to let it... I'm just going to let it stay up for now. I'd like to have the haste, but at the same time, I don't think it's necessary. We'll see, though. With the amount of uh, license points things that we've uh, that we've unlocked, let's let's let him just attack this. So I hit for a thousand. He he hit for nineteen hundred. Two thousand. So as you can see, that's a that's a pretty legitimate uh, strategy to just absolutely destroy. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, he actually missed. Kind of funny. Oh, a Death's Head. See, that's um, that's actually a, a rare, an even rarer drop. Also, there's there's something that I'm going to be trying to work on in the background uh, to unlock something in the shop. The item that I was telling you about that uh, reverse it basically reverses effects for like uh, items and stuff. I, there's no way I can pronounce it, but um, yeah. Point point I'm trying to make here is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to get that relatively soon because it's such an amazing uh, thing to use against bosses. It's an accessory that reverses everything so if you use it with uh, Remedy Lore 3 it inflicts like tons of damage. I'm not damage, I'm sorry, tons of uh, ailments. We're gonna have to deal with these guys. This is annoying. There, there's the uh, hunt. Let's just... You know what? We're gonna, we're gonna try to do this with this hunt right here. I stole a pebble. Nice. Come on over here, guys. Alright. This ought to be easy enough, I think. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna absolutely destroy this punk. It's a big kitty cat though. And as you can see, Balthier is just absolutely destroying him. And there it is. So that was easy. So yeah, having what a lot of times I'll I'll just have him and Fran uh, berserk. This is when uh, I can actually heal myself, but I can't do that. Yet. Oh, speaking of that, let's look at our uh, let's quickly look at our license. Okay, yeah, this is like a guaranteed. This has to be on him because yep, this is what gives him uh, region cura curaga and cleanse. It's there's no way that anybody else's stuff that unlocks would be better, but let's just look anyways. See, she's already got access to that, right? You want to flip boards and just see. Okay, or, I'm sorry, he. Excuse me. Um, then if we flip over to Fran, this is what you want to do when you get these uh, espers, is see what it un what it would unlock, potentially. Nothing on that board. We flip boards. Uh, let me... Let me... Uh, okay, here we go. I'm just trying to find, okay, yeah, there's nothing on this and nothing on that one, right? Now we look for him, okay, nothing on this board, which is, it's right here, and then on this board, it's up here. Now, this would unlock something, but it's Gil Toss, which is nowhere near as important as what Vaughn has. Okay, what about for Ash? Uh, Ash would get, uh, oh, that's not, yeah, that isn't it. It's right here, okay, and we'll flip boards. So depending on, yeah, see, so she could potentially, yeah, she could unlock Hand Bombs 3, but that's, again, that does not override um, Vaughn stuff. And then Pinello, where is it? Uh, I don't see it. Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Okay, it's up here. Wow, that took me way too long. And then it's up here. Okay, so, yeah, so the clear winner here for this one is definitely going to be Vaughn. So we'll go ahead and uh, we'll activate that, and then I'm going to immediately give him access to this and this. Him having Asuna is, is also huge. Okay, great. That's amazing. Um, I'll have to set up, uh, I'll have to try to remember to set up um, the uh, gambits for all that. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, let's just run back across and we'll get, we'll get back over. The flyers... You know, if you don't have at least two people that can hit um, flyers, it's just really not worth the time, in my opinion, anyways. I'm 
Man, I love the way those uh, grape swords sound when they hit. The sound effect is awesome. I do need to kill a couple of these skeletons out here, though, for those uh, heads. Now, this is the downside when he when he can't get Berserk uh, inflicted. It takes it might take him a minute to. Man, I wish I could zoom out. Oh, a Gladius, nice. Oh, that's what I that's where I think I got the. Oh, that's where I got the Gladius. There's another Death's Head. I don't know if I need two or three, or it's probably three since I only have two. But in any event, uh, we'll continue. I may I may have to do that off camera because I just want to make sure that 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 uh, that uh, that item is so awesome. It's an accessory, um, and it's it's totally worth farming early on. I'll do my best to see if I can get it. Yeah, having Balthir like that, though, does mean we, we're not getting haste and a couple of other things, so. I mean, maybe we'll take it off. I doubt we really need that. Uh, during a boss fight, though, it could be pretty awesome. Actually, let's let's test this. Magic, White Mage, Asuna. Does it take Berserk off? It does not. Okay, so never mind then. Good to know. Oops, I didn't mean to. Well, I guess we should save. Whatever, we don't need to save. Let's just teleport. Okay, he just he just came out of it, so we're good. Okay, so let's go up to the mountain. Now, just so you know, that fight can be difficult, but again, I think we outrank it just a bit. So, whoops, that's not what I meant. I meant this guy. Hunting crossbow for free. Uh, teleport stones are pretty much irrelevant because we can easily farm those and 1,500 gil. Nice. Okay. Now. Let's teleport to... Where do we want to go? Um, I really want to get to... i got to look at the map. Um... This is gonna. I'm gonna have to do the uh, the big the world map. Okay, so I haven't shown this off in a while, but you can see like over here is where Bjerba, Bjerba, however you say that. All this stuff over here is where we've been, and now we're gonna be headed north, which is like I said, just so many cool zones to to check out. Um, okay, so if we go here, these are plains. Okay, so this is where we need to end up, is here. Okay, so I need to go to the Ester Sand. Here's where we need to go, and then I want to go left. Our main objective is to go north, but I want to go uh, west right here. I'm pretty sure that's how you enter um, for that particular hunt. I could be wrong, though. And there's, al there's also a chance that there's another guy out there, but... Um... I mean, we gotta we gotta go this way anyways. So we want to go to the uh, Dalmasca Ester Sand. Excellent. That just saved us like 90 minutes of running, essentially. Pretty nice. Plus, there's some quests we can do to get access to uh, even more awesomeness. Uh, we will do that later, though. Not right this second. Uh, we did just say, I mean, we did just kill that guy. Let's just, I hate to continue to save, 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 but it's better to save and not need it than to not save. And then, oh, what did that just say? What is my rank? Ward of Justice. That means there's new stuff available. I should probably go check the, ah, well, whatever. Let's just, one thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. I think we can easily kill uh, this this mark too, if we can get to him. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, I can't go north yet, can I? Okay, hang on a minute. You might have to do a quest before this is even av available. Okay, um, hmm. 
I don't know of any other way to get there. And there's a quest that, that's a little bit more uh, intricate about this particular spot here. Hmm. That's, uh... That's interesting. I didn't. I don't recall them forcing you to do this quest, but I guess that's a thing. That's where we have to go. I know that for sure. So I'm gonna have to look into uh, how we trigger all this. Well, I definitely remember doing a quest here, and it actually gives you a nice reward, so maybe we'll maybe we'll prioritize that. Since it looks like we have no other choice at this point. I really don't remember this being a requirement, but maybe it is. Maybe I just automatically do it, so there's never an issue. Um, hmm. Well, what else could we do? Um... We could potentially try to... Since we have a little time left, let's take let's, let's take a look at something else. Okay, so we could... We could potentially try the Gill Snapper. He could be a lot, a lot harder. Um, okay. Let me just think about this for a minute. So he, he, this particular mark uh, inflicts blind quite a bit. We're gonna, we'll try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? We'll just load the, the, uh, the save back at the other village. While it's still raining though, let's, uh, let's take a look at it. We'll see if we can get down there and give it at least give it a shot, but this is going to be a long run. Maybe I should have gone to Osmo and Plains. No. This might be a complete waste of time, let's be honest. I'm just going to run. I don't want to sit here and fight everything. Uh, we have decent health, but... Especially for where we are currently in the game. I'm just not sure that's going to be enough. And with that mini-map zoomed in like it is, it makes it more challenging to see where I'm going here. I think I'm going around this edge. We're just gonna like YOLO this and see if we can do it. Uh, it's a it's a Mark III, but I mean we just took down a Mark III with no problem, so maybe we'll be okay. Plus, remember we have a whole nother party and backup if we get in trouble. Um, God, I can't remember where the uh, entry for it was. And then of course now we're almost at 30 minutes, so. And this is the wrong way. Great. I still cannot see. Okay. Hard to tell where you're supposed to walk. Is that even the correct way? Of course it's not. I went the wrong way yet again. Where am I going? Oh, that's why I can't find it. Because I should have never crossed here. I should have come up here. Got it. It is a little hard to navigate with that tiny ass little mini map. Okay, I, if I if I if memory serves, you know what? In case we fail, I'll do another save uh, here, and that way we'll just be able to restore if we want to restore from this point and try again. Uh, the only the only part of this that's a little annoying is we have to trigger it with the right. Where is this? It's definitely not here. Okay. 
Okay. We have to get the right weather condition for this to work. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, well, it looks like it spawned on our first try. Yep, there it is. Now, ideally, we'd have, um... We'd have, um... Ah, oh, stole a thousand gil. Nice. Okay. This is, you can see just based off the health that this is going to be, this is going to be pretty nasty, so. Um, I'm also going to set up her uh, gambit for. I want to put Shell on anybody right now. Because he is going to start spamming uh, Water Go. Also, if you have uh, if you have Thundaro, that hits him pretty hard. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well we're doing uh, we're doing decent right now. I'd say he's immobilized. I don't know what did that, but oh, that's not good. Okay, disable. How do we take disable off again? If he starts spamming this, is that might be a problem. Do we not have a way to take disable off? That's that's not good. Okay, we're gonna have to do. Are we gonna have to waste a remedy? Hmm. Let me look at my uh, gambits. Do I have one for disable? Oh, I don't. Okay, that's that's not good. So what I'm going to do is equip uh, something that makes it so she cannot be disabled. Because if she's if all three of us are disabled, that will be bad. I wish I knew. Okay, here we go. Black belt. Oh, Asuna, can that take that off? You'll notice that uh, we do nothing if you're on the party member. There's the flash, so of course she's blinded, but she immediately takes it off. Okay, let me. Uh, I think I think also her gambit for. Oh well, we just put we just put shell on, so that is not gonna work. Um, we should we should be okay, I think. Hopefully, he's gonna start spamming uh, like Blizzard. Blizzra or something. Blizzara, yeah. That is immobile. Or he's immobile. So you, when he's immobile, you don't have to be standing right next to him, just so you know. But, I mean, we're, we're, I think we're going to be okay, hopefully. Hopefully. Famous last words. That's scary, actually. Yeah, he died. Very scary. Yeah, this is... It's a little more challenging, um, for sure. Uh-oh. Disable, though. I think we I think we might have him, maybe. Come on now, just die, please. Oh, we barely did that. That was okay. That was scary. And that's only a that was only a tier uh, like a rank three. But the good news is it's done. Look at that heal. Twenty two hundred health. Very nice. Yeah, she ran out of magic. That's that was the problem, I think. There was a lot of things going on there, but I mean, in the end, we did manage to we managed to win. So that's uh, and that's with these weapons. I mean, these are garbage weapons. So especially where we're at currently. But okay, so she now she did charge to get some magic up. Her cura cura does thirteen hundred dam or thirteen hundred health. Wow, I can't I cannot speak. That's amazing. 
Okay, so, uh, yes, we went over a little bit. Let's go ahead and just, um... We've already kind of walked through here and... Let's just go turn this in, shall we? I'd like to turn it in in this episode, if, if possible. Okay, now, can I make it back to the camp relatively quickly? That'd be great. Let's see. Yeah, that was, I mean, it's, even with all the bonuses that we had, that was still, actually, you know what? Yes, it's probably a good idea to save in case something happens. Although this, this game, in this current state, has this auto-save, so it's not like uh, we would lose anything, probably, but... That was probably the most challenging that I've ever had for him. And that's not really saying that it was super challenging or anything, but it was more challenging than the, the hunt we did prior to that, for sure. Am I going the right way? Okay, great. This is definitely going to go over a bit on the time, but hopefully, hopefully you don't mind. Oh, I'm glad that I definitely don't want to fight that. I think this is it right here. Okay, well, I thought he was here. I thought they were here, but I guess not. Were they in the dry season? Oh, I guess they were in the dry season. Okay, well. Alright then. Um, okay, well, I guess that's that then. Unfortunately, I thought we were going to be able to turn it in. We're going to have to wait for the dry season for two of them, because remember the crocodile one, we have something to do there too. So, okay, well, I do hope that you enjoyed the episode, and we will see you in the next one. Have a good one.